<laughs> Welcome to Drinking in Canada. My name is Guy coming to you from East Side, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Farmer Alcoholic Radar, Leprechaun Mode, thanks to Jamie. May Smith will be a reuse the beer mill. Thank you, Jeff. None of that Battlefield 1 bullshit. So. <laughs> Abe Herb. Abe Herb, Buggy Whip, India Pale Ale, ooh, 6.3 alcohol. Finally. Uh, yeah, in Kitchener, Waterloo, Ontario. That's where they're from. And, <coughs> and uh, yeah, so. Kitchener. Kitchener. It's like Kit Harrington from Tenor. You want to read the description? Sure. Buggy Whip, model as an American IPA with an aromatic citrus presence and accomplished. I'm sorry, and accompanied but, by a crisp, poppy finish with floral notes. Don't drink in buggy. Huh. Buggy Whip. Nice name. So the original beers, uh, be, I mean, beer bottles. I like it. Have they just opened? Hmm? Have they just opened? I opened those. Oh, no, I mean, uh, they burp, yeah. He sent me one of their beers, like, uh... A while back, so okay. Well, to know to know how about Abe Herb, and it's a very good company. I go to www.abeerb.com. Abe Herb. <laughs> looks like a beerb. Oh, there. Oh, you smell my mirror. I like what it smells so far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's, that's almost mahogany. Oh, mm-hmm. oh it's, 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 it's mahogany, nice. orange, and uh, non-see-through. That's nice. Cloudy as sex can be. As cloudy as my sperm. Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, when I said the word Hamilton... I mean, sperm. Why does the word Hamilton first come to your mind? Uh, that's opaque, I guess. Cloudy. <laughs> no white. Okay, hey, as well. Ooh, citrusy, very citrusy. Or is that grapefruit? No, it starts off citrus and they get pine, and then it turns into like pineapple and freaking. Tropical. Yes, very tropical, very fruity. Tropical thunder fisting. Hamilton. <laughs> See, there you go. And now you said Hamilton. That's what you said. Tropical ale fisting. Hamilton. Things gonna be unheard. Mm. And I pulled candies. Yeah. It's not as strong as I would like it to be. I mean, the taste. It would be a good first IPA for some people. Oh, yeah. Very good. I'd recommend this for your first time uh, beer drinker. Not just that first time. Uh, Drinker who that, that, that yeah, don't don't for, train your uh, newly son depending when you're 18, 19, 20 year old. Don't start him off on wife beater mode, start him up with this. Yeah, <sighs> because of course, course light is for wife beaters and Budweiser's for cheapskates and perhaps the ribbons for you, people you, who you would think their that kids. topless chick can come out of your two for it when you open it, but no, it doesn't. So just be realistic and drink this. Hey, Burb, we're realistic about her tits. Kitchener chicks have real tits. It's really good. Yep. Refreshing. Refre- yeah, it's good and refreshing. The, 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 fruity, the fruitiness is not as strong in the taste as it, is, as it is in the smell, but it is fruity. So that I would recommend to, like I said, any, any first-time craft brewery drinker, this is the way to go. Um, I'll go slightly. Well, I'll go eight out of ten for this. I'm going eight point two. Very enjoyable. 
I'm moving 8.2 because it goes down really smooth for 6.3. It's dangerous. And, uh, yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Cutting with Hamilton. Let's go. Let's go.